Hi, I'm Mel from Blind Alive, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about posture. First, I'm going to tell you why you need good posture, and then I'm going to walk you through what is good posture, and then what I'm going to do, because most likely I'm going to ramble in this video, um, actually not a video, it's an audio track, because I am blind and we don't really need video, so I'm going to describe to you about posture, and then in the next clip, it's going to be a whole lot shorter, and it's just going to be exactly how to stand and sit correctly. Okay, and it sounds so onerous, but it really isn't. So, I suspect that most all of you listening to this have probably heard at one point, stand up straight, sit up straight, hold your shoulders back. You know, my mom would always say, you know, hold your shoulders back, you know, hold your butt in. And, you know, after a while, it just sounds like just a broken record. And in thinking about it, I realize that it, it's possible that people in our community um, don't have a clue what good posture is because maybe um, they've never been told. Um, there are things that, you know, we need to be told, and completely sighted people uh, don't have a clue what good posture is, but they may have more of an idea because they're seeing people with, quote, good posture, like soldiers and military people. But, so, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why we need to have good posture. And posture means that our body functions at an, an optimal way, in an optimal way, because our organs, our bones, our muscles need space to function correctly. Our lungs have to have a way to fill up with oxygen, and if you are slumped over or scrunched up in your rib cage, you're not going to have as much space for your lungs to work, and so that air becomes stagnant and just sits in the bottom of your lungs, and it never goes anywhere, and it just sits there. And I don't know about you, but that sounds gross to me. So it's, it's important to stand and sit in a way that gives your organs space to do their job, like your stomach. It needs space to mush around and rumble around in there and digest the food. Your liver needs room so that the bile can move through and the blood can move in and out freely through the liver. Your digestion really needs space to work. So it's important to stand up or sit up or lie down in a way that allows your body to have space. The other thing about posture is we think that it's you know, you're supposed to look like a soldier, you know, standing up straight, 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 you know, like you've got, you know, a broom or a yardstick down your back, and, you know, your shoulders are way back, and your chest is way out, and in reality, that is not the best way to stand. That actually causes damage over time. So, it's important to stand in a comfortable way so that you're feeling natural. So I'm going to tell you how to do that, and I may talk too much, and then the next clip I'll be able to tell you really quickly. So what I want you to do is stand up. Yeah, stand up. So plant yourself on your feet, equal weight on both sides, and have 
the weight in your feet so that it's equal. So you've got like a, a, a triangle. You have a point in your heels and the midpoint of your, your heels. And then the weight is spread evenly in um, a triangle so that one part of the point of the triangle is at your big toe and the other point is at your little toe across the, the bottom of your feet. Toes are for balance and to help you push off when you're walking. So stand equal weight on your feet and I want you to soften your knees. Standing up straight doesn't mean that your knees are locked, that your hips are locked. You know, it means that your knees are a little bit soft so that your muscles can engage. You don't want to be hanging on your bones. Bones aren't to hold your body up. Bones are to create the framework for the muscles to do their work. That's why it's so important to have strong, flexible muscles so that your joints don't end up slamming together and grinding together. And then over time, that causes osteoarthritis and so much pain, back pain. You end up needing hip replacements, knee replacements. Some people even need ankle replacements. Um, so don't lock your knees. You don't have to, you know, do a squat or anything. Just kind of soften them a little bit. And make sure, you know, that your knees aren't um, pointed out. Make sure your feet are pointed forward and your knees are pointed forward. And so now let's go up to your hips. Your hips... Once again, you don't want to hang on your hips. You don't want to put one out to the left or put one out to the right. You don't want to stick your butt way out in the back or you don't want to lean back too far. Um, you want the hip joint and the knee joint and that bump on your ankle to be in a straight line. So think of a string going through your leg so that all those joints are in a straight line and you're you're not slamming those hip joints together you're just kind of lightly standing with the muscles a little bit engaged your thighs a little bit turned in just be aware the whole idea of consciousness or posture is to be conscious it's to be aware of where your body is in space and what your bones and your muscles or doing at any given point. So let's move up from the hips. Your pelvis needs to be a little bit tucked in so that your tailbone is just a little bit tucked in, but you want a natural curve in your back. Your back is not supposed to be ramrod straight. It's supposed to have a curve in it. It has the lordotic curve, which is the small of your back. So that's supposed to be uh, that's the lumbar area, and you're supposed to be a, a light curve there, and that's, that is correct. And so then your stomach muscles need to be engaged, but not, you know, not like sucked in so that you're miserable. You just, you just want to be aware that your stomach muscles are doing some work and that you once again aren't just hanging on your on your bones, hanging on your hips. So let's move up the body a little bit and the thoracic area, which is the second curve, which curves opposite from the the small of your back or the lordotic curve. It's the the curve that's with uh, between your shoulder blades. So that needs to be a light, slight curve as well. You want to Stand so that your shoulders, you, you pull your shoulders back and then let them drop, drop down. So you pull your shoulders, like pull your shoulders all the way up to your ears and then pull your shoulders back and then let them drop. And, and you let them drop in a comfortable way. So there's actually a tiny little concavity, a little bit of a concave um, area at your at your shoulders, um, just right above, um, you know, right where your collarbones are. They're just, just a little bit 
of a concave. You don't want to slump forward. You don't want to pull way back so that you're uncomfortable. You just let your shoulders go back and drop. It's really very comfortable. You don't have your stomach pooching out. And so that you think of your shoulder joints in line with your hip and your knees and your ankles. So it's in one straight line. So then the next thing moving up, you want your neck. So put your face, put your uh, hand in front of your nose and kind of push your head back a little bit. So you want your ears to be in line with your shoulder joints. So just pull your back your your neck back a little bit. You want your chin to be parallel with the ground. You don't want your head tilting to one side or the other. And there's a little curve there in your back um, behind your head, uh, in behind your neck. So there's a little bit of a curve behind your neck. There's a curve a little bit at your your the level of your stomach and the thoracic area a little bit you know in your shoulder blades and then there's a slight curve in the small of your back and then all of your joints are lined up in a straight line it doesn't have to be uncomfortable it's it's actually quite comfortable there is a yoga pose called mountain pose and that is standing with good posture with the addition of engaging all of your muscles throughout your whole body. Just standing in correct posture in mountain pose for a minute, you'll be amazed. And if you can just stand that way, in a correct way for a minute, that it's more difficult than you think. And you can actually gain muscle tone from doing that. So I'm going to stop now. And then in the next clip, we're going to talk about sitting correctly in a chair, and in the next clip, we're going to talk about balance. Come back.